Oh yeah, I know you just saw that. That is the sweet new pop-up winch design that we just came out with not too long ago. We are on an HDT or hydraulic dampened tilt trailer. The pop-up winch, we put out a couple of videos. Tools in Action put one out showing him loading a Jeep. Then we put one out loading a tractor showing you how it works, but not really speaking to it. So today's video, we wanted to showcase the pop-up winch tell you about it, answer some of the questions that we've seen in your comments and your messages on those couple other videos. So just like you saw, it is down. And the reason why we developed it is because on these flatbed trailers forever, forever winches have been a nuisance, right? If you have them mounted on the bed, even if, the, and you want them, you want them in a box out of the way, it makes it even worse, but they're mounted on the bed, they're sticking up, they're in the way. So the idea is obviously with this box, it, when it's shut, it's deck space. You can see it's pretty dang flush. You can use this space as normal, driving up a piece of equipment or needing to set a pallet. You can set it on that lid and it's not gonna hurt a thing. But say the time comes, you've got a vehicle or a piece of equipment that is down. And whether it's a HDT, an LPX with ramps, a DEC, any of these models have this available in the bumper pool configuration. And again, when you have that down piece of equipment, you can pop the winch up and save the day. Save, save the day by being able to winch that equipment up on the, on the bed of the trailer or the vehicle. So we're gonna pop it back open. Let's see, yeah, we're still showing. So once you open it, you simply slide the two pins in place and now we're locked out. We have a lot of questions that have been asked around the strength of the assembly. We have designed this box, tested it, brutally tested this winch assembly beyond the capability of this 12K winch to comfortably, I'll say it again, to comfortably rate it at the 12,000 pound winch. So now I'm not saying buy this and go put a 17.5 winch in it and you're not gonna be able to break it. But if you put a 12K winch or you, it comes with the 12K Samurai winch, it's gonna do everything that you should be able to do with a 12K winch. It's got the one inch pins in the back that it's pulling against as well as the one inch pins in the front. It's not going anywhere. We've tested it. We're not gonna just put it out on the market and not test it, obviously. So the next question that we get is, you can see down in there that this is in case. Well, let me jump off the trailer. It is boxed. You see that? There is, yeah, there's the box. Now there are some relief holes to be able to let water and things out but for the most part under the bottom it's encased it's in a box so that up in the north in the salt and snow conditions it's not you know your winch is not in direct uh, path for salt snow rocks all that kind of stuff to just pelt it and become rusted out right so you can wash it out if things get inside there there's relief under there but it is protected very well protected the cool thing about this winch kit on the HTT is it does come with the roller so that whenever the bed is tilted, and we can show you that in a minute, whenever the bed is tilted, that cable comes right over the roller, you have the bed locked out, comes down the bed, pulls up your equipment, and it's not rubbing just across the front of the bed there. The battery for the winch is mounted in the HD lid. You've got a you know, 27 series battery mounted in here. So you do have direct feed. You got a five amp plug in charger so that you can plug the battery in whenever it's sitting to keep your battery hot. So when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. It's just as simple as turning on the switch and then there's a quarter rump, but there's also a wireless control as well. I gotta turn this thing on. There it goes. Gotta push the right button. Wait. So you can see there's the wireless control so that you can be able to sit on your equipment, whatever it is, while you're running it. Let's see if we run it out a little bit. I got the nifty little hook here. And so you got fair lead there to keep there, keep your cable from rubbing across the face of the, the winch itself. You got a nice fair lead that comes with the winch from Warrior. So you would free wheel it, put it, put the clutch in neutral pull your line out and be able to winch it up. Then whenever you pull it back in, you turn around, whoops. 
Hook it back to itself and you're ready to go. Pull your pins in. And we're ready to get back to using it as a normal trailer. There you go, the 12K pop-up winch. You can jump on Diamond C again and build it on an LPX, a DEC, or an HCT like shown here. There's many other options available that you can put in tandem with it. Make sure to be on a bumper pull. On the goosenecks, we have the winch mounted up in the neck in a box. So if you're a gooseneck guy, there are more winch options available. Jump on diamondc.com and make one your own. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>